Hi guys, Christophe from Logo Books here. As you can notice, this video will be a little bit different because you might know it or maybe you don't. But if you follow me on Instagram, you should know or you can know that I have some trouble with my computer. So basically, I am not able to render any videos anymore. So I had to find a solution and well, this is the solution I am filming this with my phone and I will directly upload it. So excuse me if the video looks a little bit different, but I think this can be interesting as well because I will only show you the book or um, the material that I want to share with you. So please let me know if you like this type of video because maybe I can um, apply it more often in the future when my computer is fixed. Okay, so let's begin with this box. You notice that this is a logo box and not a logo book. Now, why am I showing this logo box to you? Well, because it is beautiful. <laughs> Look at the cover of the box, it's beautiful. Now, if you saw my previous videos, this box might look similar or might um, give you the impression that you already saw this before and that is because the first video I made was on this book, a logo book from Paul Ibu. Now what is the difference between the logo book and the logo box? There isn't a large difference. Um, the only difference here is that the logo box has more or less 200 logos and the logo book has 200 logos. So I got this box from Paul Ibu himself. I met him a few times now and I am still going to meet him in the future. But let's start with taking a look at the box. So as you can see, the cover of the box is very beautiful, very simplistic. It's um, it's a characteristic that always returns in the work of Paul Ibu. It's very nice, it's what I can appreciate about his work. So that is why I am a big fan of him. So let's open this box. At the back you see the logo of Paul Ibu himself. Of course designed by himself as you can can uh, see here the well let's say spine of this box is very simple very beautiful the other way is just white as well as these corners now you see here a seal I already opened it but when I got this it was still sealed so I knew that everything was going to be in an excellent condition if we open the box, we see the logo of Inter Echo Press with a little bit of information on the press group, the address, etc. Opening this flap, we see a picture from Paul Ibu. And here we see a little bit of information on Paul Ibu. He was a graphic designer or he is a graphic designer because he is still active these days. He's 78 at this moment, so he's still alive. And it's just a little bit of explanation um, about his career and his studies. Now let's take a look at the content. I will take this out. This will make it a little bit easier for me. So, what we can see immediately is again the title of the box, logo box. And this is a small um, booklet that shows you, um, that gives you an overview of every logo that is included in this box. So it's simply an index with at the back of the index again the information on Paul Ibu and where his studio is. So it's very simplistic, but very, very beautiful. 
all information is there so that's all you need as a first logo we see the logo from Paul Ibu as an outline and this is what you get you get one a5 page with the logo and the explanation of the um, of the design for which company or which organization it was made and when it was designed and that is what I love about Paul Ibu's work he mainly created books that have a logo on one page so the attention goes all the time to one logo no distraction you can examine the logo as it is and here you even have it in um, separate sheets every logo is numbered or every page is numbered as you can see here this is number two and the logos here are identical to the logos from logo book you see that my screen is a little bit too small but this will work this way I'll just quickly show you the logos from logo book as you can see here the difference is that Paul Ibu included these two logos in the book while the box only has the outline and then well as you can see the logos are identical this is number two three and so on and so on so every logo is the same but as I said in the logo book there are 200 logos and in the logo box there are only 191 logos so he um, left some logos out now what's nice about this um, you can use it as small posters if you have a frame um, from this size an, an uh, a5 frame a din a5 frame you can just put it in the frame and hang it onto your wall um, it's it's very simple it's it's very nice also because yeah these are just small little posters little um, pieces of art and again every logo is in black and white very pure very simplistic as the work of Paul Ibu so just yeah sorry for that that was a small little bug so <laughs> I guess the bug also enjoys the logos so this is basically it um, it doesn't get better or uh, worse <laughs> this is what you get every logo in black and white very simplistic very straightforward the purest way of design now what I like about these black and white logos is if you all saw my previous videos you already know it but what I like about black and white logos is that here we only take um, attention or that our attention only goes um, towards the shape of the logo so by creating black and white logos you remove any information on emotions or uh, whatsoever of a logo so a black and white logo represents the the purest way of design in my opinion and that is also why I believe that creating a logo should always begin in black and white because if it works in black and white if the shapes are uh, correct if the shapes are good you will see that it works and afterwards you can add color to the logo so I'm just going through this rather quickly because it's well as you can see it's always the same but it's very very nice to have something like this and the special thing about this logo box is that it isn't or it wasn't published as a book the logo book was published in um, 1990 I think 
but the logo box um, was probably published later on. Now, the book has an ISBN code, but on the box there is nothing uh, as an ISBN code or any reference. As you can see, there is nothing printed on the box. Neither is there printed something on this uh, index. As you can see, no reference whatsoever. So I don't know why um, or what the intention was of Paul Ibu by printing this or creating this. Um, but I have the feeling that this box wasn't distributed very widely. So that's why I believe that it's a rather uh, unique piece. But I believe that every book that Paul Ibu created is a unique piece or a unique book to have. So that was the video for today. It wasn't a book, but it was a very, very nice um, logo box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you liked the video, if you like what I do, and if you would like to see more videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.